Good day, dear chess lovers. Soren here, and in today's video, I want to share with you an amazing game played at the ongoing Shakh Bundesliga. Two Ukrainian chess grandmasters are playing. Kirill Shevchenko is against Andrei Valakitin, and this game is from round 5. Shevchenko opened up with e4, to which Valakitin answered with c5. Sicilian defense is on the board, and then after developing the knights, finally white went for open Sicilian. a6, knight or variation, bishop d3, e5, white goes back, bishop e7, and both players castled kingside. So white chose a line with castling kingside, not an ambitious line of course, but even so, this can lead to a very aggressive attack. Now we will see. Here, of course, you won't play knight takes d5 because of this bishop takes h7. Uh, that's why black played g6 and a4. Usually in here, white is playing c4 and then at some point is trying to bring into life this b4 c5 idea. But in our game, we have a continuation starting with a4, with which white is then taking under control this b6 square. b5, c4, b4. Bishop c2, queen c7, b3, knight goes on c5, and f4. White is striking, and this f4 is something which can allow white to gain nice attack. Knight fd7, and it was in here that Shevchenko found a brilliant move to intensify the pressure. That move is knight f5 look at this beauty guys 19 year old grandmaster is making a peace sacrifice in hope of gaining a ferocious attack black accepted the peace sacrifice and that's actually the best move because black really doesn't want to lose this dark squared bishop he then will face serious problems for example if you move like rook f8 then in this case you will uh, weaken the pawn on f7, white can then go for knight takes f7, uh, that's why black play g takes f5, this is the best move as said, but then you have to be very accurate, something which Falakitin failed to do. This time white queen is occupying the long diagonal, a nice square of course for the queen, queen a7, and now white has to be very careful. Knight d4 can be a threat, and you can't neutralize the threat with a move like king h1 because of this knight c e4. Yes, anyways, knight c4 can follow, and if a move like queen b2, then this time black has an amazing knight g4 move, and here white is in trouble. If here, then bishop f6 is winning. Uh, that's why after queen a7, white played bishop e3, the best way the best move to neutralize the threat, bishop goes back on d8, queen f4, at the same time white freed the f4 square for the queen and now the threat can be rook g3 check followed by queen h6. Uh, and so in order to neutralize the threat black played rook takes e3 and with this move black is gaining a precious time to centralize his knight and now already can cover his king. Rook a e1, bishop e7, g4. White is playing very aggressively and black is, black is in a very tough situation. Knight goes back on d7, rook h3, hitting on h7. Knight g6, bishop takes g6, h takes g6. This move is losing on the spot. Better was playing f takes g6, but even so white is winning. Here white has... Uh, Rook sacrifice and then queen f7 check is coming and rook e4. Uh, going for rook e7 straight away can be made with queen d4 and now it's black who is winning. That's why first rook e4 and only after knight f6 we are playing rook e7 once the long diagonal is blocked. He, black can give up his queen and then can try to survive in this endgame but that's going to be very hard. The queen together with these mighty pawns can easily finish up black. Uh, but even so, this could allow black to survive longer. In our game, we have h takes g6. And since we reached the critical position, once again, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and try to find the winning line for white. 
Ready? Now look, if you play queen h4, then black has bishop g7 move, the h8 square is covered, and black is okay. That's why in here, white made a brilliant deflective move and played rook e7. Look at this beauty, guys. Uh, at the same time, white is attacking the pawn on f7, and once black is accepting the rook sacrifice after queen h4, black can no longer cover the h8 square with the bishop and white is winning. Here black gave up the queen but then resigned. After queen h4 we have a resignation. An amazing final combination. Honestly I can't remember a game where I saw a move like this where you are deflecting the bishop which can save the king with the help of a fianchetto. An amazing move which I'm sure you enjoyed. In the end, the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video. Take care.